Today, guys, Aaron here at Pacific Tour and Lexus of Cairns taking us through a virtual tour on our 2017 GXL Land Cruiser Ute. Before we get started, guys, quick tour here of my yard up in Cairns. I'll just uh, step through here so I can get up here. We've got stock in over 200 cars here uh, between our yard here and our other yard just up Mulgrave Road uh, that way as well. So we really like to get through them. Um, but yeah, heaps of cars, so so we definitely like to pump it um, for sure. Now, our new car sorry, showroom is up the top there. Our Lexus showroom is next door. Our parts and services also tucked behind there um, as well. Now, without further ado, uh, we'll jump straight into the Land Cruiser. So, um, obviously, I'm going to be going through all the features, everything like that on this weapon. And... Uh, you know, any marks, anything like that, you know, on the outside, inside, everything like that, I'll be showing you um, and explaining as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So we've got the ARB bull bar up the front here with your spotties and um, obviously a winch already in there as well. So, oh, it's pretty, pretty set up um, for a four-wheel drive anyway, so you don't really need to do too much more. Uh, we'll come down the side here. We've got our full ARB side rails and steps as well really really handy for getting in and out of the car um and you know anything you know you don't want anything to smash up against the side of the car if you're taking a bush or something like that um got our gxl rims there obviously on it uh with some nice big tread tires um heaps of tread left in there as well and as you can see there's levels upgraded suspension um and i believe it's a gvm upgrade as well um hence the the uh, big indicators on the side there, Australia wide as well. So some of the GBMs are just statewide, um, but this one's been Australia wide approved. Um, so handy in that in that sort of sense if you're to go traveling and stuff like that. Go up on the windscreen here, no chips, cracks, anything like that. Obviously you got your snorkel um, there as well. On the bonnet, There's a little bit of dirt um, on it. Look, it is a bit tr tricky to keep them perfectly clean um, when it rains and sun like that and the dirt and dust and everything like that. But it will get a full detail um, upon sale as well. There are a couple of little tiny chips um, in the bonnet here, but we can get them brush touched if needs be as well. Uh, maybe only small little chips there, but we, uh, we, get them, we get them brush touched with no issues at all if that's something that you'd like to get done coming down the side of the car this way so we got really nice guards here there is a little bit of a mark here on the flare um, obviously a bit of paint has come off there but as you can see the tires and rims really good condition as well your suspension up under there as well obviously your auto hubs there as well with the with the newer shaped cruisers really really handy a little bit of a mark just here in the paint a couple little marks just up there But apart from that, really nice and clean. Um, and the doors, both front and rear door as well. Super, super clean. Come around the back. Um, so obviously rim and tire there is, again, all your level suspension up under there as well with your bigger leaf um, pack there. Plenty of tread left on these tires. Um, you got your silver, oh, sorry, silver, steel tray um, painted there at the back plenty of room up in there as well um, obviously there is some stone chips up along the headboard um, from tire, uh, rocks flicking up from the tires um, you've got some Anderson plugs here as well for accessory power really really handy make our way around the back got your spare underneath there your tow bar you got a tow shackle under there hook um, then obviously you got your uh, seven pin plug for your trailer trailer plug or anything like that as well um two spares so you've got one up on the in the tray and then your your one underneath as well so handy as there um obviously a little bit of chips there on the paint um probably expected um you know has definitely been driven um but look obviously being a 17 model and the amount of cows on it it's been used um but in really good condition 
um, apart from you know obviously the the little paint chips and that sort of thing as you can see the rim and tire on the this side as well heaps of tread there as well and as you can see really nice and clean underneath there too Alrighty, um, I'll head around the side here and then we'll jump on the inside. Cool, alright, I'll jump on in the back and uh, we'll go through the interior. So, so you got a little mat just here, cool as. Um, electric windows obviously, but really nice and clean inside here. Got a little coin tray, ashtray, anything you want in the back. Really, really nice and clean, the seats. A bit sunny here this morning, so. Apologize for any glare in the video, but. As you can see, uh, seat pockets in both sides as well, so handy for any little more storage. But really, really nice and clean there. We'll jump on in the side here. Uh, we've got all our auto windows and everything just here. Um, storage down the bottom there as well. I'll see our spotty switch here. We've got trailer brakes uh, in there as well. Idle up buttons there, another switch there um, for your winch, I believe. Uh, and then a DPF burn button there as well. But if we come on inside here, really nice and clean um, seats. Definitely been well looked after, that's for sure. Right here, I'll jump on in and uh, start him up. So I can, uh, well one, get out of the sun, and two, get in the air con, and uh, also show you how it runs as well. So it starts up really nice and easy. Obviously your manual. Um, there you've got a compressor, got a compressor there as well, so really, really uh, handy there. Obviously being the GXL, you've got your diff locks and everything there in the, when you're in four low. Um, so really handy uh, to get out of any sticky situation if you go on bush or anything like that. Obviously your four-wheel drive stick just down here. Got a cup holder there as well. A little ashtray there. All your aircon controls. Uh, this one's your antenna up and down. So as you can see your antenna out there. Up and down um, with that button there. All your head unit uh, obviously all works and everything like that. You've got your Bluetooth. Got all your radio settings and everything as well. Um, Hazard lights there all work. Obviously, um, you can see there all your all your dash functions are working and all okay. Uh, Eighty-one thousand Ks. If you can just see that, I'll try to get the sun out of. There you go. Eighty-one six two five on the clock. So pretty low Ks. Um, definitely for something like this. Um, you know, you don't really come across too many of them at the moment. Uh, look, I'll give it a rev for you as well, so you can see. but really, really nice and clean um, inside here, especially. Got your glove box there with your winch controller um, and the service books have all been filled out. So done, all done at Pacific Toyota, all the services, so all done by us here. Um, so local car and uh, yeah, being well, being well maintained, that's for sure. Next service due there at 90,000 Ks um, as we've just done a service as well. Alrighty, I'll uh, jump on outside, open up the engine bay and show you underneath the engine bay. See if I can lift this thing on my own, one hand. Alrighty guys, uh, so obviously you got your engine bay here, dual battery set up underneath here. So you never go flat when you're out bush. Uh, really, really nice setup there. Obviously you've got your washer wiper fill up there. We've got our coolant reservoir just here. Our air box, our brake reservoir, dipstick down there. And then our engine oil fill up there as well. Obviously you've got an accessory fuse box there just on the left hand side. And your fuel fills up just over here. But as you can see, really, really nice and clean under here.
definitely a, a glamour. So I'll shut that up for you. Alrighty guys, um, that's going to conclude our virtual tour on our 2017 Toyota Land Cruiser dual cab. Thanks for watching.